Hello everyone to this uh, new video of the iPad only book. We are the iPad only book co-authors. My name is Michael Slewinski. And I'm Augusto Pinat. And in this video, we're going to talk about one of the things that we have found the iPad for the iPad is a shortcoming. And it is handling clipboard. Really doing copies and paste between one application to the other one in the iPad, it's, it's kind of not great. It's not that it's incredible on the Mac or the PC, but in the iPad, it's kind of challenging, you know, sometimes selecting and, and what you're going to copy and what you're going to paste is challenging and it's not great. And you can only have the last thing. And if you copy one thing because you want to move it and then you want to copy another part, you're basically out of business. And Michael had a little tool who, works great for this, so talk about it. Yeah, so um, before I say this, I mean, this is really strange, because first of all, when the first iPhone came out, it didn't have copy and paste at all. So it, it, it was the, the best, I mean, it was the best <clears throat> thing people could, you know, troll about. iPhone has no copy paste, it's useless. So, but, but now, let's think about it, we are in 2013, so the Windows kind of, uh, you know, systems are already, you know, two decades with us. And still, even on the Mac or on the PC, natively, copying and pasting is one thing, you know. If you have to install additional apps to help you, you know, copy to a big, bigger clipboard, you know. This is, for me, this is strange. I mean, after 20 years, people copying and pasting, nobody figured out a, a better way to do that, which is for, and a native way to do that. And the same thing happens on iOS. And um, what I have found is an application called Clipboard History, uh, by some uh, a very cool developer, and this guy, you know, has been improving this app constantly. When I started using it, it was crashing most of the time, <laughs> which was unfortunate, and um, it wasn't really working working well. Now, uh, it 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 does stay. It, it you can enable it to stay for a few minutes in the background. So what happens is that when you keep it in the background and you copy things on the iPad, it saves them automatically to to, to this you know clipboard history clipboard, uh, to clipboard history, and then you can paste from there. So this really helps me uh, when I'm filling out something or when I need to copy several things. So this really helps out. But still, it doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, help me with pasting many things at once. I just have to switch always to this app, copy some, uh, uh, tap on something, and I can paste it somewhere. So I still have to switch to paste things. So I can already you know, copy several things at once, and I'm sure that it will just be copied there automatically, but pasting is still complicated. So. Apple, please, you know, figure this thing out. I mean, seriously, 2013, baby. I mean, we're really, it's not, you know, uh, Stone Age anymore. I mean, we should, we should really, you know, be able to copy and paste natively several things at once and paste several things at once and choose the things we want to paste and copy. So this is something I'm still missing on the, on the iOS. And, and sadly, I don't have that much hope. You know, we have not, as you said, 20 years not being able to jet figure it out on the PC that used a mainstream machine. Our only hope is that the generation of my kids who are going to be the ones who are going to be born and grow up to work on iPads as their natural habitat, come and figure it out a good way. I sadly don't think I'm going to see that coming really anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so guys, I mean, clipboard history application, we recommend it. It, it, it. it solves a little bit the problem of copying and pasting. The other thing about the iPad also, and the iPhone as well, is the fact that sometimes it's really very hard to select something. So my tip is that you have to zoom a lot, so pinch and zoom a lot to select something very often. Uh, and this is still also problematic. So, for example, if there is a text box on the website and you want to select what is in the text box, it's really hard. For some reason, the, 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 the Safari on the, on the iOS, I will select the whole text box instead of the text in the text box. There are things like that that still make it a little clunky copying, pasting, and selecting on the iPad. So I think the selecting thing will be solved. The copying and pasting, well, it should be solved with third-party app for now. But it's, you know, it's better. And if you've been missing copying and pasting on the iPad, I mean, with a bigger clipboard, because you've been using some app to do this on the Mac, there is a solution for that kind of on the, on the iPad. Yeah, and it will be cool that 
applications like Clipper history eventually come and synchronize through iCloud. And then you can have all those copy paste across the old devices. It will be fantastic to really be able to copy something on the iPad mini and then paste it in the iPhone. That will make it for me a dream application. I mean, this, this clipboard history application is already getting there. It has an iCloud sync, but I think when I enabled it, it crashed too much. So I, I but, I'm, but I'm sure it's, it's going to be better. So this thing, this thing also is coming through this app, uh, as far as I know. Well, and this is how far we are going to take this rent. So this is Augusto Pinad, and we are the author, the co-authors of the iPad-only book. So thank you. Thank you very much.